Hi everyone, it's Sandy Holterhaus, your rec center dietitian. I am also a certified yoga teacher and an integrative health coach. And today I just wanna to talk to you about the importance of learning or trying something new and how that helps keep you uh, young and healthy. So some of the benefits of learning something new, it helps to improve your cognition. So especially in the areas of concentration, attention to detail and memory, it can also help increase your confidence um, when you are good at um, you know, multiple different activities uh, that can help you feel good about yourself and your abilities and give you more confidence to try even more things. Uh, learning something new can be fun. So most of the time we are choosing items that we are, uh, you know, attract us or that we tend towards. And those are items that are fun for us so that can add that enjoyment to our life. And then depending on what you're looking for, um, the activity might add some socialization and community, or it might provide that alone time if you're just looking for um, a little bit more downtime for yourself. It also, it also can help you, uh, make you more interesting. So when's the last time you heard that? But when you are able to um, know about a lot of different types of activities and discuss those with other people, it gives you that uh, common ground that a lot of times people um, you know, find connections with. And then also, again, if you're choosing something that you enjoy, that's going to help to uh, reduce stress in your life. So I just compiled a list of some of the most common learning re requests that uh, things that are people are, are always saying that they want to do, but um, maybe they don't get around to. So if you're looking for something um, right now, uh, these would be the types of things you might be wanting to consider. So language or learning another language, um, martial arts, there's all sorts of different types of martial arts out there. Um, maybe you want to learn car maintenance or, you know, how to change your oil, something like that. Woodworking is another uh, common learning request or learning to play a musical instrument or have voice lessons, uh, speed reading. There's um, just some real simple tips out there if you get online on to how to learn to speed read that can really kind of double your um, your reading speed without losing that comprehension. And um, it has more to do with, you know, not your ability and, and intelligence about reading, but more about where to keep your eyes on the page when you are reading. So very interesting and can really um, help you to open up your world a bit if you do like to um, read and to learn. Home maintenance, that is, um, you know, just a huge area. We see all the home maintenance shows on television and people really um, have gotten into doing some of their own um, work at home and especially uh, when we're at home more. Drawing and art can be another activity. Uh, cooking and baking, you know, people trying to cook a little healthier or um, save a little money cooking their own food can uh, learn those skills. Computer skills, maybe you have another skill or have a new uh, software at work and you need to uh, pick up some skills there. Um, a lot of that can be picked up online. And then another uh, common learning request is learning how to dance. So uh, just to speak a little bit to how um, these activities can improve cognition, uh, it helps you to adopt a growth mindset. So just that idea of continuous learning uh, throughout your life and being a lifelong learner. Um, traveling, that can help with that growth mindset as well. And then just being engaged with others and again, finding that common ground um, with other people that you meet. Um, you can improve your cognition also in other ways by staying physically active, keeping the oxygen flowing throughout your um, body, through your bloodstream. And you can also um, improve your cognition by managing your emotional well-being. So 
um, reducing stress can help with um, your cognitive abilities as you begin to age in particular. And then eating for brain health. And this is a, a big item that I discuss a lot. So you want to eat as many fruits and vegetables as you can to get those antioxidants. You want to eat a lot of healthy fats. So olives, olive oil, avocados, and um, all the nuts and seeds. Those are great for the brain as well as fatty fish. You want to keep those in your diet. And then I can't stress this enough, but um, I probably talk about this in every talk I give is just making sure you're getting good sleep. Um, you want to be able to have a, a good routine around your sleep cycle and just making sure that you are getting to bed and able to get seven to eight hours of sleep per night. It just helps with your decision making and it helps with your recovery. So one of the questions um, that is common that people are asking are, do all these brain games really help? So where they might not help you in preventing um, dementia or Alzheimer's, they can help with particular brain skills. And this is from Harvard Health. So those brain skills would be processing speed, planning and organizing skills, um, Quick reaction time speeds up that reaction time, which is so important, um, you know, while trying to avoid an accident or driving your car, um, that type of thing. And they can also um, help with short term memory. And a couple of the websites that help with these skills would be Brain HQ or Lumosity. And you can get on um, these websites and play some games for free and just test them out. Uh, I think they offer daily games, but if you really want to get more involved, you can get um, subscriptions to these websites and spend more time, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes a day uh, playing these games that will help with those um, skills that I just mentioned there above. Um, and then we also know that brain games may help improve overall cognition, cognitive health. So um, it's what they call cognitive resilience, which can help reduce um, or stave off that memory loss and dementia. So although it may not prevent it, it can help um, maybe slow the progression of it. So a uh, great idea to get some um, brain games, different games into your uh, lifestyle. So that's all I have for learning something new. Hope you will go um, out and try something new on your own. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.